Welcome back, ESIM Studios. So, apologize about recording in the car. I um, got a lot going on today and running all over the place, getting Halloween costumes for my daughter and we I have to go to this Halloween party tonight, so apologize. However, I made a short in regards to the news that Samsung is not going to be using the very best OLED panels that they have to offer in the new upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 series, which includes the S25, S25 Plus, and the most expensive one, S25 Ultra. You would think Samsung would put the very best OLED panels in their flagship series, especially in their most expensive Ultra lineup, right? They've always done that in the past, so why are they not choosing to do that now? Well, interesting, uh, behind the scenes type of breakdown. So, it all everything comes down to money. It all comes down to costs. So, when you look at all of the sum of the parts that go into manufacturing a cell phone, um, you have to find suppliers for these different parts. And then, your not your cost, Samsung's cost, with all those parts being added up, total a certain number. That certain number is cost per phone, as far as how much it costs to manufacture one phone. And then the profit they gain if they sell the S25 Ultra for $1,200, uh, $1, and it costs them $600, to manufacture, to produce each device, then they profit a $600, correct, right? Now, one main component is drastically more expensive this upcoming year than last year. And that single component has been in the news quite a bit in the last few days is the new Snap Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite CPU. That is said to be up to 20 to 25% more expensive to produce per chip. So if Samsung is putting a, and that's the heart uh, and soul of the device. So if Samsung has to basically pay 20% more per CPU to put in each S25 model, well, that's gonna cut into their profits. And these companies don't like that, right? Now, here's the catch. Instead of just using the best CPU, which they will, but also using the very best OLED panel, you're looking at, Samsung is looking at having to raise the cost because all these big corporations have bottom lines. They have projections. How many are we gonna sell? What does the price point need to be? What about the profit margins? So if the CPU is gonna be 20% more, if, the OLED panels are gonna cost them more, let's say 15 to 20% more than previous generations. Now, that's a real world increase for you, the consumer, per device of maybe 100 bucks. So, they know that if they go up in price even more per phone, probably gonna cut into their problem, well, it is, because I don't know, and they had hire experts to do all this analysis. They're simply not, you know, at some point, the cost is gonna to be too high for, for a lot of people saying, you know what, damn, they raised the price again, $100, uh, I'm gonna pass, it's too expensive. I'm gonna go with the one plus 13, right? Because it'll be uh, just, It'll be probably specced out even better than the S25 Plus or S25 Ultra, and it'll cost $500 less, right? OnePlus is making big waves here. They are definitely headed in the right direction. And they match up. That's their competition, right? Samsung, they might not say it, but for Android users that don't want to use an iPhone, um, that's their competition. So... A lot of people probably just going to go with the OnePlus. And honestly, it's a fabulous option that I don't think many people will regret. Samsung knows this. So that's why they're choosing not to use the very best OLED panel. Now, they're going to use last year's OLED panel. 
uh, believe it's the internally its manufacturer code is the M as in Mary 13, M13. So they're going to use last year's OLED panels. Now, I know the S24 series had a, when they were first launched, had a, people had issues with the screen not being as vibrant. Samsung fixed it, right? But how does that make you feel? Uh, do you feel like you need the very best in your device and you don't care what the price is to a certain extent? Like, what if you finance your device through the carrier? So instead of, so if it's $100 more, like if you go to AT&T, instead of it being $45 a month over three years, it'll be $50 a month over three years. Does that matter to you? Or do you buy your phones outright? Um, all those things come into play. Or are you okay with the panels? Because the panels on my, on my S24 Plus and S24 Ultra, pretty freaking good. So personally, if you want to know my opinion, I don't care. Uh, the panel they have right now is pretty freaking good. Uh, just as long as they, just as long as they don't sit on this panel for like three years, right? Like say the S26 comes out and we don't get an OLED upgrade or a panel upgrade, then <laughs> then you'll hear me say, okay, Samsung, what are we doing? Like all the competition, the, this technology progresses so freaking fast. Um, it's amazing how fast. Now, in the grand scheme of things, is there a, a vast difference between the S24 Ultra screen and the S22 Ultra screen? From the from layman's terms or from the average person, if I held those two phones to uh, uh, and showed them to my dad, who's like 65, is he going to know the difference? No. But uh, am I going to know the difference? Maybe. Now, just looking at it, probably not. But using it, probably yes. Um, it's probably going to have a uh, better response uh, uh, touch input. You know, they may improve upon the uh the ltpo refresh rate uh maybe 3.0 in the next in the near future because we're at 2.0 right now so there's a number of minor differences to the heavy users like myself to the nerds like myself uh it'll make a difference but to the average person it doesn't now i don't think people like my dad or in his age range or age range are buying a 65 year old probably not buying an s24 ultra um it's probably people in my age range 20s 30s and 40s but um i get why they're doing it so it's not that big of a deal to me just yet as i mentioned if we get to the s26 this time next year and leaks start coming out about the s26 ultra saying samsung sticking with the same display for what would it be for three years in a row now then i'm going to be like all right what the hell is going on y'all really trying to save that much money um and look i know they raised their prices um they raised their prices I think slightly two out of the last three years I believe so um, hope I, I no word on if they're raising the prices this year maybe they had to to keep the price well obviously they had to but we don't know if they're gonna raise the prices or not now if they made this change and the prices still go up it's like wow they are really trying to cut costs and I see why they did it um, if they make this change which they are and the prices uh stay the same then you know i get it so uh, it is what it is that's okay with me for the moment but um we'll just have to see where this goes everything else should be fantastic it should be a freaking badass phone this new cpu i'm diving into some of the details and i will have future videos in regards to the specifics of the cpu all I can say is, wow. Um, it's the GPU in this new Snapdragon 8 Elite is on on benchmark is performs better than uh, the AMD Radeon 780M GPU that you can find in some of these mini PCs. I mean, that's extraordinary. Like, 
like the amount of power that this thing is going to put out is earth shattering it's mind bending um gets me excited honestly like do you need to upgrade if you have the s24 do you need an s25 yeah probably not but if you want to have if you want to be on the cutting edge of technology if this stuff gets you excited like it does for me uh i'm definitely going to get the phone now uh should i eh, well i have a youtube channel but if i did not have a youtube channel I, I still probably would i'm just a nerd like that but it is what it is i'm at the costume store i gotta hop out and get my daughter a costume so uh stay tuned to the channel eSim studios uh we do a live stream almost every day um uh, I can't get one in today, but I will live stream the next day. But uh, it's the eSim Studios podcast. We live stream every day uh, in the afternoons and discuss topics like this, like whatever's making headlines in the tech world. So uh, make sure you subscribe to our eSim Studios YouTube channel. And uh, so you get notified of all new content. Normally, I don't record in the car. Uh, go check out my other videos. It, we have a studio. Uh, it's just, I'm, I'm you know short on time and i wanted to get this out there so uh, i'll put a link for the article about in uh, i'll put a link for this article uh that came out in the description box for everybody so you can check it out for yourself but um i gotta run peace